Hi you guys, I am popping on here today to tell you my best beginner tips for gaining a clientele in the beginning. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is getting clients in the door when you are new. Sister, I'm with you. It is hard and it is grueling and it's a really tough process to really get clients in the door and continuing to come back. So the way that I found that was easiest for me starting over because I was in Salt Lake City and had been there for a really long time and then I moved to Washington and had to start completely fresh. So I was kind of lucky on that front because I already knew how to do volume, I knew how to do classics, whatever. But I was starting over fresh. I had no idea what I was doing and I was popping into a new town, a new place that was seemingly saturated with lash artists. People even said, you know what? It's gonna be so hard, good luck. And I was like, mm, mm, here we go, here we go, watch this. So what I did is I began a referral program. And I will tell you, I had a girl who is lovely and beautiful that I knew from elementary school. She came in and she's an insurance agent and she's Lorena thank you because you built my business I told her for every person that she brought back to me she would get a free fill you guys I swear to you I was working for like four months on her lashes for free but was it really for free no because I had clients coming to me because of her lashes paying full price for their full sets and it ended up working really well. So that's one tip for you. If you were thinking, I can't get people in, get that one person, I mean, even maybe do their lash set for free. Who knows, who cares, at least you're doing something. So start producing really good quality work on faces that are recognizable. So Lorena, insurance agent, she's in front of people all day. Other great ideas are bartenders, waitresses, people that see a wide variety of people from a wide variety of income. They are the type of people that you want to get in front of so that you can build a clientele. Because I will say you guys, building a clientele is hard. I totally get it. I totally understand, but you can do it. I will say when I was in Salt Lake, there were lash artists on every corner, way more <laughs> than there are here. But here in Bellingham, right, we're really saturated. It's a really small town and everyone talks shit, all the things. So you got to be good. You got to be good and you got to be personable and you got to love your clients. And that's what I'm all about is promoting a good experience while people are here. Even showing people that I'm totally that person that doesn't remember to take tape off my wall. I mean, it's real. I'm a real girl and people know it. I fit the vibe of this town and that's why people come to see me. So keep that in mind. What's your experience like? What are people coming in? Because it doesn't matter if you have people breaking down the doors to get in to get lashes. What matters is that they come back. Full sets are great because they're a little boost to your income. They're not your bread and butter. So back to how do we get clients back in? Making sure that you do um, offer some sort of a incentive program to get people back in is massive, okay? The next thing you wanna keep in mind is have, please, have an end date for your discounted services and or a certain number of people that are allowed to get that discounted rate and then it stops. Because we do not do referral programs or um, discounted stuff for a long period of time. And people ask me why I always say that. And I say, because you're gonna get to a point where, and thanks to Lorena, this happened to me, I actually got burnt out because I was working all day, several fills and full sets a day, and it wore me out. So I should have done 10 people, 15 people, 20 people, whatever, at this discounted rate, and then stopped gone up to my full rate and then added some sort of other incentive because then you're working for the money that you want to be making and not burning yourself out like I did and have done so many times. 
So keep that in mind, you guys. <laughs> this career is awesome. It is worth it and you can build a clientele. So don't think you can't because if I can do it, moving to a new town five states away with nothing but my clothes and my dogs in my car, you can do it. So the last thing is, well, to recap, making sure that you get people or get your lashes in front of people that need to be seen and that are worth being seen, i.e. waitresses, whatever, having a discount for those first few people that come in, but then stopping that discounted rate, okay? Because we don't do this shit for free. This is really hard. So make sure that you have those things in places. Oh, and the last thing that I will say that's super, super important. If you are starting your prices, like beginning in this game, and you are charging $75 a full set, stop it. Stop it right now because there is no need for you to have gone through aesthetic school, cosmetology school, or whatever else school you have to go through to then be charging ridiculously low prices. I mean, let's think about it. You charge $75 a full set. Your classic full set in the beginning takes you two to three hours, 25 bucks an hour. After product cost, you're probably really only at like, I don't know, 20-ish plus overhead. So maybe you're only at about 15 bucks an hour. guys. Minimum wage in Seattle just went up to 15 bucks an hour. That's awesome. Minimum wage isn't a livable wage as an adult with a family for a career. So let's not start ourselves burning rubber in the beginning, okay? Start yourself high. Start yourself, well, higher so that you can make a wage. Know your numbers, know what it costs, and know what you need to make money. I can tell you if you're charging $35 a fill, you're not making money. Sorry. If you're renting a space, if you're renting a room or you're paying for product, you're not making money. And I want you to make money. I want everyone to make money. That's how this goes, right? So set yourself a high expectation or a high bar and then give yourself room to discount. That's how we do this. So once you get to a certain point, there'll be no discounting, there'll be no money off, there'll be no whatever, because you don't need to, right? You've got those clients coming in, they're addicted, it's like tequila maybe, they're hooked on you. So you'll get to that point, I promise you that point is there, but set yourself that bar so you can come down a little bit if needed to get your clients back up to where you need to be. Because there's gonna be dry spells, there's gonna be seasons where you're like, mm, it, uh, where are the clients? We all have them. Even us girls that have been here a long time, we're like, I just, oops, I just lost a few clients because they're moving or they need to take a break or financially they can't handle it. So that gives you some wiggle room. I want you guys to know that I love you guys. This is an amazing experience. I love lashing and I want you to love lashing as much as I do. So stick to it, stick with it. This is the goal. We can do this and we can build a clientele together whilst boosting up other women in the industry. Okay. Keep at it. Any questions, shoot them my way. You know, I'm always willing to answer. And if I don't send me an annoying question mark because I'll get you. <laughs>